Yep, that's exactly it. I mean, it can be a similar style for sure as far as the early shove and then the roaming. It's just a champion he's probably not as masterful on because he's been playing Aurelian Sol since MSI. Yeah. As there's plays happening on both sides of the map. Definitely read there by Rex. I've been scaring use the ultimate, but bottom side! Big say get hit up. The exhaust is there. Fourth he shot. still has flash. The heel goes down. Fights across the map. Stick say is gonna go down to first blood. That's Bjergsen coming up with the kill. Darshan answers back. The fight in the bottom is still going back and forth. Oh. And it's going to be double if down. Stick say lived throughout it by holding the heel, holding the flash, and then fighting back. Woo. Ridiculous across the map to go back, back to the same strategy, the same draft. They roam to the top side again. Hunter lives, and they're not done yet. And now they like to fuse in their favor. The shots coming out, the curtain call, and they're gonna shove Stixay up the stage. It's because of the deferred pressure on the map. COG use Jin plus Gangplank is an incredible synergy. I think especially against Soraka. I think that's gonna threaten oh. Afrimo a lot. That could be a position to start it with. That could be the Jin ult, then the Gangplane ult to follow if they want to finish him off. Could it be over the wall? They said we don't need it yet. Hold it, and TSM are sure to secure that kill. Ricochet autos as well as boomerangs, but Gangplane ultimate once again. Defense Karen goes right on to Stixay, working the ground is who he from oh! the back here. And now it's going to be a big cast from Smithy before he goes down. All of TSM come out pretty unscathed and look for more. COG had arrived to that turret early. They were able to do it because they're stronger right now, but it was still a very nice map move by TSM. So if that map move were kind of be disregarded, what is CLG's option there? Or is the move they did just have to be done? That Whoa! Never mind. The next move from TSM is even more right than the Woo! first one. They get two kills. And don't, you don't even have to answer that. Yeah, the problem with picking the turret there, that's going to be his immediate reaction. Uh, but oh, he just gets word. the double stun there. They get a double kill, and CLG need a miracle steal. I talked about TSM not fully taking control of the game, but there they have taken hold of it completely. Drafts and playing smaller champion pools. And even though Trundle and Jin are common champions in League of Legends, they're actually two champions TSM hadn't played in the entire Whoa! That's a thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Darshan teleports immediately out because uh, they saw TSM leave bottom lane. So we will see so. what kind of options TSM can pro or provide for themselves here. He's still Nar, but there's a lot more people here. Oh, they knew he just Nard back down to Mini, if that's a thing. So they get themselves right in and out of that play, not even within aggro range of the turret. So that's going to fall in their favor here. Like we said, TSM starting to take, take control. And then now in the bot lane, it looks like this second turret will fall, the first inhibitor of the game. It does not look like CLG will be able to do much. They may put up an ult from Smithy here to get Hunter oh! in. Hello and goodbye as they drink him under the table. Called it, Riv, right there. Smithy, good ultimate. And CLG already able, able to get one kill. The Sivir ult was used here. Can they chase Ooh, down and CLG as GSM have deep wards. Wall. Look at all these deep wards. Oh, there's the pillar. Who he can't even ult to get out of this one. He would have knocked off the surf right away. Alfram, who saves himself with the ultimate as well as some damage from that star side of the wall right there. So that was COG attempting to pull off and just completely flopping. Cool. TSM way stronger and looking poised to win the game. Bing, bang, boom. Takes him down. The inhibitor follows right after with its turret. And they could be looking to go for the Nexus turrets here. Really lighting a fire under themselves to come into this uh, little bit of a remake game. Both teams coming out very strong. And TSM is going to try and find the Nexus here in game one, 11 to four as they battled it out in the CLG in the early game. We're gonna have to see how much closer this series can get. We are gonna be going game two, as TSM is up one game. And TSM has to feel quite happy about that game. Ponser dodged a ton of pressure from CLG. Bjergsen was dominant in the mid lane, and Doublelift and Biofrost were- I would assume that CLG are trying to go with, you know, putting more emphasis on getting that first turret, you know, trying to bully out straight up in lane phase. And I think that actually influences the final pick from TSM. When they throw in the Lissandra here, for this TSM could be first turret. Offside. Could be first blood. And I thought they were gonna give this up. As I said, it's gonna be a little crazy for the fight. Here it comes Tuhi over the wall. Oh! Peacemaker from downtown coming in from Stixay. They're going to be able to turn this one around. It's on the line, and they have to do this quickly. TSM have not shoved their top side up, so CLG need to push very quickly if they want to make this work. Mm -hmm. I'd say this is usually be that time TSM takes Dragon, but Sven Skaren's up here as well. Honcho's going to swipe him back, but still gets taken it's down. It's a race. Yep, they got the kill, but can they get the turret? TSM are on it. How much Stixay and Aphromer were rotating around? They're going for Afro. 
Whoa, belts over the wall. They should be able to get him in the final here. Tether on to Bjergsen to nullify the damage. Then puts the shield out. Deja Vu and Afro not going down and the fight being turned around. Biofrost is the next to get hit up. And now they look for Haunter and Svenskeren. Svenskeren slowed a little bit there. There's nothing going on. Scatter the weak. Will they be able to take him down? Xmithy tries to get the drink out. The slow is not there. The tunnel is found, but they are able to hit it. Who he comes up huge and CLG do it again. Boom. <laughs> Uh -oh, actually, wants something. Speaking he's trying to cut him place. off. Stick say he has both summoners. Whoa, he even go for whoa, Afro whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to make a solo play here, but also by time for the team. It may go. just matter. He belts forward as well. Helps with Hauntzer to get the kill. But they're able to priority focus Hauntzer. That's Afro going down as he steps back in. Bjergsen's going to be the focus. Glacial Tomb to save himself. And will he go down? Oh, Double whoa. it flashes out to return a kill. And they're able to keep Bjergsen alive. Somehow they turn this on. Uh, you know, keeping the enemy team on the run. When he's got a front line like Lissandra Nar. Here we go, though. Here we go. We've seen these plays before. Stixay, that MSI, was able to do it on the Caitlyn. This time, completely locked down. They make sure he's the target because of the threat he can create. And flash right into the structure. Unfortunate for Aphromoo and very fortunate for TSM. And the all holds the Zanyas. The lock is used for safety and... After all that initiation, Xmithy goes back in. He doesn't have task here. Bjergsen says, I'll give everybody time to come in with me. There's the Zanyas after. They pull the scatter from Hoogie, so the crowd control may be down, but Bjergsen has now given himself up for the fight to happen. Open in behind with Cassandra. This is the plan play for TSM. COD has to stop it. They have to go now. 4,000 health on the Baron, 3,000, here comes the fight. Baron gets left out, is gonna be the focus here. He goes down in the end, Hunter's taking a lot of damage. They try to get to the back line. Bjergsen throws down the alt, and Xmithy and Stixay in a bad spot, but still able to deliver DPS, and that's why it's a bad spot. As soon as they jump on him, they have all the say in the world as to what happens and continues to happen in the fight. The fight was set up by TSM for several minutes, and it was beautiful coordination from a wonderful team. <laughs> Fall of the day as Baron is taken by TSM. 10 to seven. Bjergsen's Lissandra, he gets pretty much obliterated by Bjergsen's Lissandra, and no one on COG had a way of entering that fight properly. They couldn't have the setup because they were forced to get pulled into that spot. Oh. Your top oh, they, if they don't even need to teleport in. Bjergsen's behind them. Oh, Mission Impossible from Bjergsen. The cleanse happens immediately. There's also Mikhail's for Stixay. He gets that as long as a heal from Afro, but he still goes down. There's too much front end damage from TSM. A double kill for Double Lift as he comes up strong with the ricochets. And now they're on to Xmithy. They will finish that kill. The flash over from Double Lift to solidify and secure that fight for the team. And it only took for COG to go out in the open before TSM could flank him once again. So that's where they were going to want the fight. Kind of put the carrot on the stick and reel them out of their base. Walk them out slowly, and then they attack. They set up the bushwhack. They come out strong again in game two. And padding the scoreboard a little bit here as Darshan says, walk this way, not towards the Nexus. But TSM knows the focus, knows the priority, and look to game three as game point for CLG. TSM now one game away from making the finals for a record eight straight split. Woo. And they're looking pretty dominant along. Time's up. And that Cassidy is going to Whoa. be locked in for Counter Logic Gaming. Who he takes it to the mid lane. I love it. Another counter pick lane here for CLG. They were shot down for a while here. Doesn't have too many barrels left. Whoops. Into the artillery. Looks like he's going back. Oh, Sudi's trying to get Baron. Haunter could gang plank off this. This is dangerous for COG. Whoa, Biofrost jumps in as he's already low. That's going to be a Whoa. kill and a dragon <laughs> going over to Xmithy as he says, see you later. If everybody can make it out, we are well off on this one. And it looks like Biofrost may just stay. Goes for the slow, but still flashes out to save himself. There's Whoa. no right time for Stixay. And he gets taken down as he tries to come in on the back. Already gained 500 gold from just his parlay. Oh my goodness. Absolutely demolished. Yep, if it wasn't looking bad for COG before. TSM have worked this whole split in preparation for this. Let's see if Darshan can get one back here. He's trying to make him down there's, double. There's not even a turret out here. Mid lane's already down, and TSM is running around the mid lane after losing a few. He's gonna get back.
into that one coming into a possible elimination game for that test or that contest for their title Boogie now the focus going to be able to get out a little bit but only going to be more assists going over to TSM X Smithy tries to help him out in the I think I can situation it's going to be around Baron but it's slow going just because TSM doesn't have an incredibly fast Baron taking team Ooh, that, it's not it it isn't! He didn't make it out! Ah! <laughs> Practically 2v1-ing to start this one off. Yerks bites off a little more than he can chew and calls for Spencer. No ult! Nice shots from Stixe and Ben Yerks and How many can they gave? He used the flash there and goes down. Sven Skarin getting tied up now. A nice ultimate coming in from Haunter kind of deters CLG. They have to pull back with low HP amongst many members. He's them looking for a pick of their own. Aphromu has to get oh. away from the team. Locket of the Iron Slari on himself, but they are able to turn around. Hauntzer is pulled back. They said too far. Fight as gone. Who he's coming from the back, and now Aphromu keeps himself safe as he tethers in Sven Skarin. They can't join the fight against who he, but he won't last long anyways. And like you said, Darshan out of this fight. Darshan said what it means to play in that third place match. He does not want to play in that third we place go. match. He is going to try to have a say about it. He oh. can get his. That's the Guardian Angel. He still Double has the chrono break. If he slams it when he comes up, he's holding on to it for now. Tries to take more damage and get himself back to get a slight heal, and they do keep themselves alive. Who he has gone down with double lift, so DPS down on both sides. Stops the fight, and CLG holds the front end of the base. Oh man, what a crucial hold there for CLG. Smithy, yes. Gragas ultimate on double lift. Gets him to the team, but they're not Oh done. no, Smithy. Ah, Smithy, I'm sorry, we were cast a curse talking about him. Oh, it was man. a crucial hold but until it wasn't. This far in the game, that far down in gold, you have to expect you don't own anything on the map. And they are always going to be in that next brush, right next to you. This is the chance. American else. Oh, here we go. Bjergsen knocked back, but TSM is actually piled onto a great group that will be able to fight back. Darshan comes back up as well. He's going to get knocked once or twice. Hanser trying to stay on the side and keep everybody at bay. They find Darshan, Xmithi, and who he share about a thousand health apiece and have to head back. And now it does not look good as the big hand trying to take a bunch of those risks at TSM. They play conservatively, they bide their time, and they cash in. Ten they, they have the deed to this land. <laughs> they continue to tunneling in and doing exactly that thing. Here they knew if it goes late, they're going to be able to outfarm the lanes and have a massive advantage by the time the game is over. Well, it's not quite over, but that's a 18,000 gold lead in Elder Drake with three stacks. That. Not even, <laughs> not even one of them is a mountain. And they're slicing right through him. This could be the final go. Darshan and the rest of the team are going to try to go for broke. His guardian angel gets popped as the glacial tomb with the safety double from Erickson, And he did. 60 seconds on the clock. That means TSM is fighting 4v5 with the fountain just on the heels of CLG for HP. That's who he going down now. Aphromu is going to be the next one to fall as they can't break enough ground between them and TSM to get the heals from the fountain. And it's now going to be Senskaren tanking up so the team can go under the turret. Darshan firing back with Xmithy and they're able to slow the attack, but not stop the attack. The Nexus turrets fall at the same time. The focus is on the Nexus, and TSM will not be stopped as they take a 3-0 game. Big Smithy again, like Darshan says, walk this way away from the Nexus, but TSM will take it. They will head to Toronto, and they will challenge C9 for the finals of the NALCS Summer Split. And this is vindication for TSM after suffering the defeat to CLG in the finals in Las Vegas a few months ago. And that has got to feel good because it wasn't just a victory, it was a 3-0 victory. Hard work paying off for Team Solo Mid. And also because of the win and their second place finish in spring, we don't know if they'll be the number one seed yet, but TSM is definitely going to Worlds. Absolutely another team locked in. It's been happening all around the world, and it's amazing.